Rosenberg, where rescuers were out on the water all day long, shuttling people out by boat and using big trucks. Just Monday, the residents say the neighborhoods north of the river were dry, but now those same areas are underwater. Next, here's Sky 2 video of an area near Simonton. A bridge at FM 1489 has been closed off there at both ends. Longtime residents have told us they're surprised at how fast the river has been rising. Emergency crews at the county say it's certainly unusual. The bottom line is we're seeing water levels that they haven't seen in this county in decades. So uh, we're, to a certain extent, we're in some uncharted territory. But we have our floodplain maps that we're using to gauge where the water's going. Uh, they can go to our website at www.fbcoem.org, look at the floodplain maps, uh, look at their address, and if they think they are in a flood zone, then they need to be watching the water. And uh, if they need to leave, then they need to leave. Let's show you this map now from the Fort Bend County Office of Emergency Management. The map highlights the areas for you in danger of flooding from the Brazos River. These areas in blue are at risk or are most at risk for flooding. And back out here live, both emergency crews and the Texas Department of Transportation have closed off many of these roads here in Rosenberg, where the water, as you can see, has flooded these neighborhoods quickly. You can see just how high it is judging by that stop sign over there and the barricades. Again, water levels high in this area. Many of these people have evacuated their homes. We're going to keep an eye on these water levels for you and bring you the latest as soon as we get it. For now, reporting live in Rosenberg, Anusha Ross, the KPRC Channel 2 News.